Hey everyone, Joffrey here, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are diving into a fresh piece of tech that's been buzzing in the smartphone world, the Vivo V30. Vivo's latest offering promises some impressive features, so let's see if it lives up to the hype. But before that, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon so you don't miss all my latest gadget reviews. Let's get started. Right off the bat, let's talk the design. The Vivo V30 comes in with a sleek, modern look. It's available in a variety of colors, but our review unit is this stunning lush green. The back has this glittery matte finish which looks premium and does not attract fingerprint easily. It is slim and lightweight as well with 7.5mm thin and 186 grams, which is comfortable in hand. Moving on to the display, the Vivo V30 has a curved 6.78 inch AMOLED screen, a 2.8K resolution with a battery smooth 120Hz refresh rate with high brightness mode of 1200 nits and a peak brightness of 2800 nits. The display is bright and vivid, making it great for everything from browsing to streaming. The 120Hz refresh rate adds a nice touch providing a smoother experience, especially when navigating through apps or playing games. One of the first thing you'll notice is the new camera module design. The V30 features a dual camera setup, housed in a square arrangement along with Aura LED lights. The main sensor is a robust 50MP, paired with 50MP ultra-wide lens and a 50MP selfie shooter. The main camera is definitely the star of the show here. Photos in well-lit condition, comes out sharp with vibrant colors. The ultra-wide lens is great for landscape and group shots as well. Low-light performance is decent, though it can get a bit noisy. Now performance-wise, the Vivo V30 is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 3, a 4 nanometer chipset with a clock speed of octa-core 2.63 GHz, coupled with 12 GB of RAM with 12 GB of RAM Turbo and 2 storage option, 256, and 512GB of internal storage. This setup handles everyday tasks and multitasking effortlessly. Gaming is also a breeze, and it runs smoothly with high settings. On the software side, the V30 runs on Funtouch OS 14, based on Android 14. It's a clean and intuitive UI, with a few Vivo-specific features like a customizable always-on display and various gesture control. Overall, it's a smooth and responsive, though some might find it a bit bloated with the pre-installed applications. We ran some benchmarks and the V30 performed admirably, scoring competitively in its segments, making it a solid choice for both casual users and power users alike. Now battery life is another strong suit. The V30 houses a 5000mAh battery, which comfortably lasts a full day of heavy use. Vivo also includes 80 watts fast charging, 100% in just 48 minutes, so you won't be waiting around long to top up, which is impressive. Now here is my final verdict. To wrap things up, the Vivo V30 is a solid contender in the mid-range smartphone market. It offers a great display, strong performance, and a versatile camera setup, all while delivering impressive battery life and fast charging. If you're in the market for a phone that balances performance and features, the Vivo V30 is definitely worth considering. Alright, that's it for today's review. Let us know in the comments below what you think of the Vivo V30. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for more exciting tech reviews like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.